Anamorphic lenses remind me of epic kung fu fight scenes. To get CinemaScope perspective on a phone with this little thing, I had to get my hands on one. This little lens brings big screen CinemaScope perspective to mobile phones via a phone case for either the iPhone, Google Pixel, or Galaxy. This is great news for filmmakers on a budget chasing that highly sought after film look. Can you shoot a narrative film with this lens? Yes, of course. Given that your writing is on point and you understand the limitations of the lens and your phone's camera. I see two types of people using this lens. First would be the casual image maker who wants a variety of looks and focal lengths while on trips or out with friends to post on social media. And the other being filmmakers on a limited budget. So after using the lens casually, I'd have to say it's easy to twist on and start shooting. It can work for documentary style running gun shooting, but it's likely best at controlled narrative shooting environments. I love Moment's overall design approach and aesthetic. The lens is simple, it's elegant and functional. It comes with the same aerospace grade metal and high end glass as the other lenses, but the anamorphic comes with an anti-reflective coating to achieve that Michael Bay-esque lens flare. It feels hefty in the hand, is very solid, doesn't feel or look cheap, and it's certainly durable enough for rigorous mobile filmmaking shoots. I would have liked a back cap for the lens, but I suppose it'd be too difficult to keep track of this tiny little thing back here. Now the lens is awesome. It's very easy to use, just twist it on and shoot. So the hardware is great, but the software, however, is another issue. While shooting at 4K at 240 frames per second, I experienced stuttering while recording. Also, when I went in to edit the video files, I noticed that the frame rates varied and weren't recorded at their intended frame rates. When shooting photos with the anamorphic, photos wouldn't de-squeeze even though the option was turned on. I've contacted Moment about the issues and they've investigated further and were able to replicate the issues I was having and are hoping to resolve the problems with the next update. The lens flare. Not much to say about the lens flare other than it looks freaking awesome. You do have to shine quite a bit of light directly into the lens to get the flare to happen though. There's a great Moment vs. Moondog comparison video out by iPhoneographers on YouTube where they go over the flare quality, so make sure to check them out. For mobile filmmakers, the ability to shoot widescreen CinemaScope style on a mobile device brings tremendous value. It'll definitely keep costs low so you can just worry about feeding your cast and crew and not about getting geared up. Team the anamorphic lens with an audio recording solution and light kit and you'll be set for your next shoot. Now despite all the bugs with the app, the lens itself is well made, easy to use and produces nice images for photo and video. Will the Moment lens replace my DSLR kit or a proper video camera setup? No, of course not. Is it adequate enough to shoot a film? Yes. The lens is on pre-order for 119 at the making of this video and will start shipping late November 2018. It'll be 149 thereafter. To check out more reviews, please visit TechCrunch.com. Whoops. It's pretty easy to just twist on and just. <laughs> yeah.